I was out last night at a trade exhibition and there was this chef there, really nice food. Anyway, he said to me, uh, you, Neville, was my inspiration for starting the business. And I said, why, well, did, did you read my book? And he said, no, I came to a talk at the uh, Peterborough Town Hall a few years ago where you were uh, speaking. And he said, I've since started my business, started a restaurant, uh, I've got a chef school, and he said, this is all down to you, inspiring me. And then I realised uh, this, this morning when I was talking to uh, Dawn, who's behind the camera, um, I, I told her about uh, this guy. And then I realised the speech that I'd made I felt was the worst speech that I'd ever made. I'd only done about six, six speeches at the time. And uh, I was really uncomfortable and I was never ever going to do another talk in public again. And I said to my wife, what did you think? And she said, not a lot. You, you wasn't uh, your normal self. And the reason I wasn't my normal self, I felt so uncomfortable. Normally, before I do a, a talk, and this is maybe a week or two weeks beforehand, I say, where's the venue? Um, is there a stage? And in this case, there was going to be a stage. How far are the audience away? And that was going to be about three or four metres. How many will be there? There'll be about 150. Who am I talking to? And it was going to be young entrepreneurs starting businesses. And what kind of microphones will they have and speakers and uh, the person told me and will I be able to have a, a, a microphone and walk around the stage or will I have a lapel microphone and will I be able to walk around the stage because I like walking um, on stage and she said yes 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 no problem so when I got there all prepared there was no young people who was uh, young entrepreneurs. There was all older people. It looked like the gathering was uh, from the offices around the town hall. And there was, there was a couple of young people, but that wasn't the age group that I was going to speak to in the first place. Most of them was older. Uh, so the other thing was there was no stage. So I was down at the level of the audience. The next thing was the microphone was about six inches away from the front row of people, which made it very uncomfortable for them as well as me. The following thing was I couldn't take the microphone off the stand because it had been gaffer taped round, the wire had been gaffer taped round the stand and then gaffer taped across the floor to the plug. So it made me very uncomfortable uh, speaking to people that was just a few inches away from me. And I wasn't speaking to the right audience with the right uh, product, well, say product, with, a, with the right information. So it just went so wrong for me. And yet this guy was saying I was such an inspiration. I didn't know this, I mean, this was a few years ago. But I'd said to myself, I will never ever do another talk in public again. But after a few weeks, somebody else asked me. And then there was a pause. And I thought, could I be better? Could, could I help people? And that's what my inspiration really was, was to help people. And I, I had to face my fears of that, try and organise it a bit better because the, the organising was out of my control at the time. And, um, but I went back into it. And the next talk I did was 100% better. I was focused, I was uh, determined, and I wanted to help people. And so, Therefore, I got over it and here I am. And to hear that man last night 
saying I was an inspiration and yet I thought it was the worst talk I'd ever done. So it just shows you, you know, you can get inspiration from, um, from, from anything and from anyone. I'm, I'm living proof.